Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Aquarius. I hope you're okay. I hope you're well. The reading for today Aquarius is will be a reach out tarot reading session for you. This is for Aquarius friends. Before I start Aquarius, I want to thank you for your awesome support, your likes and your subscribe. If you guys are guest viewers, I would appreciate it guys if you join my team. Click subscribe click the notification bell because that cute little bell will give you an instant update whenever i upload a video all right so let's start your reading aquarius okay will they reach out tarot reading session for aquarius please what can i get for aquarius i'm gonna deliver two readings for today aquarius one from the past and one from the recent connection all right so let's start from the past so you've got here the two of sorry the page of swords in reverse the temperance card the knight of pentacles in reverse the world card and you've got the magician card for the recent connection you've got ace of swords you've got knight of wands you've got the two of cups the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles all right let's start your reading so the first reading guys this is someone in the past this could be an ex that you split up or this could be a person where you dated an on and off situation all right this is way back uh three three months ago all right and then this five card this is most this is fairly recent all right so let's start your reading so You've got here the, pi the, 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 sorry, the Page of Swords, the Temperance card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the World card. You know, I feel like with, with this person, whoever is manifesting in this reading, um, I think they were really, they were waiting for this moment that, you know, especially 2020, because Page of Swords, I feel like this is last year. You know, they were kind of thinking like, um... 2019 it's it's not the time for me to connect reconnect or reconcile so they're really eyeing for 2020 to kind of work on the missed opportunity this is definitely an ex or a person you've kind of dated on and off there's a, some sort of time lapse between the two of you they are just waiting for the right time some sort of schedule all right i feel like last year um, it was not a great time for romance, connection, reconnection. But I feel like they're eyeing for 2020, okay? So they'll, they'll definitely reach out with you, like close the bond. If you look at the world card in here, if you look at the world card, there's a red bandage in here. So this person is going to fix the loop between you and them. They are eyeing for 2020 as a year for things to work out between the two of you especially if you haven't really finalized the legalities you know if you got kids they're considering to um to kind of save the marriage or if you guys were uh, engaged and then you break up you you call it quits the engagement um they have um they have led 2019 as as a time for you and them to kind of you know uh, be individual have some sort of a space but I, I i strongly feel like you know march 21 onwards you would be hearing someone from the past definitely an ex you split off where you had a long-term relationship they're really keen to revive you know the magician card they really are wanting to put magic between you and them to kind of revive what you have built in the past it's really good you know i feel like this person they have touch base touch base with you around december or january month december 2019 and around january january month i'm really seeing april 21 or march 21 april 21 but it's quite it's quite close like this person they waited for a specific time like i'm gonna do it march or april but you know it's more of this year is a year for them to really fix it to really save the marriage or to be connected with you okay for some of you who has who have some sort of an on and off um, relationship with someone um 
I feel like you know this this person they were not really um, you know page of swords in reverse um, it's a bit of perfectionist um, Because I feel like, you know, this person was very focused on their career that you keep missing each other. Like Knight of Pentacles, this is a missed opportunity. I don't think this person has given up towards you, you know, if you have an on and off situation. Um, Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords, when this is in reverse, this is this is white lies because it's it's next to the temperance card so i feel like your person in the past they were kind of giving you some sort of a false promises white lies for you not to give up on them because i feel like they were building something it's more of this person is not ready but they want to be around you or they want you to be around them and kind of wait for them but the thing is with this person is that they don't explain to you why they are not ready so they they kind of they kind of want you to hang around and um some they're kind of giving you an they're kind of giving you some sort of false promises to, for you to hang around and for you to wait for them they do have some valid some sort of you know prioritization that's going on in their life um they value you they like you they you're kind of saving the date. There's this, this person has some sort of plan for you. But the thing is, they don't know how to communicate them. them communicate that to you. So instead of, um, instead of being honest, they would give you some sort of false promises. Or they would ghost you for a week and they would call or text you for, I don't know, whenever they feel like it's convenient. Um, yeah, they're working on something that convenient for them they do want you around but it's it's wrong timing although they pretend to you that it's it's okay it's right everything's perfect but it's not so you're always on the sideline so whenever they have the time and they feel like they want to connect with someone romantic they pick you up it's not fair for you and i feel like that's 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 what annoys you the most is that they're giving you some sort of um um like residual attention because they've got something going on in their life could be they're multiple dating or some sort of exploring but with terms of love romantic i don't see this person being successful with love romantic there's i would i feel external energy i feel other people's energy apart from you but because they're a little bit everywhere and staggered energy they don't have anything successful in terms of love romantic there would come a time, like the magician card, that this person will pull their, pull themselves together and will be ready for love. And, you know, they wish that you would be around or they wish that you would be interested. So I see them still, you know, calling or texting you and reaching out, okay? So when this person's connect or reconnect with you, I really suggest that you ask them on what is the itinerary or the agenda because they're they're kind of sneaky in and out so if you feel like you're in that situation there would come a time that they would be whole you know there would come a time that they would be a magician they would have the capacity to answer all your questions so hopefully when this person connect or reconnect you know you bring towards them the question that hey you can't do that to me okay i'm a person i have a feeling you know so don't just attach and detach so yeah i still feel i still feel like and honestly see them coming back around i feel like this is around the last quarter sorry not sorry the the first quarter so we're finishing january february march i feel like this is around end of march okay so that's the first reading for your aquarius now let's go with the second reading this is someone recent uh the someone recent connection this is you had a fight you had a disagreement or there's some sort of um miscommunication and there's some sort of time lapse between you and this person that's why you're not currently in speaking terms okay this reading is you guys are not in speaking terms all right so for someone recent you've got ace of swords the knight of cups and then a two of cups I feel like this person is playing hard to get because you know they want you badly okay ace of swords they're hiding their feelings 
Ace of Swords, this is a solid offer. This is a solid beginning. But because they're using their head a lot over their passion towards you, they're, they hide their feelings, okay? This is what they feel towards you. Two of Cups. You have some sort of, you have some sort of mutual connection. They see you as someone that they could go along with. Uh, you get along there's some a lot there's a lot of mutuality between the two of you but they make you feel like they don't want you or they they slow down the connection in order for you to chase them this is a bit of um there's a bit of power tripping or ego playing hard to get because you know this is five of pentacles they pretend like they don't think of you that you don't matter but in fact you know they're they're fighting off there's an internal there's an internal battle with your person they're fighting off the ego okay so i see them calling or texting you because their fight uh, their heart their feelings towards you is fighting this ace of swords okay this is their ego okay they they use their head over their heart so this is their this if you look at the transition you know they're kind of they're kind of feeling like you know I really want a solid engagement relationship so I'll use my head and in love our feelings get always in the way so this is them trying not to be obvious that they like you but they are they're already trapped you know they have already joined the web of love and feelings and then they hold it off they play hard to get and they release so eventually I feel like they're making their life and feelings difficult because they try to contain it you know they try to resist what they feel so eventually they would release and i see them calling you or texting you so i hope this situation improved for you because i feel like you know this person really likes you this person is companionship romantic friendship it's like it's really a good feeling to have someone um like you you mirror each other like you you see a lot this person see a lot of common things towards you they see themselves towards you and that is where um the ace of swords get into the picture where i'm scared because i'm seeing i'm so liking this energy i'm so liking aquarius so i'm scared so i want to feel secure so i will play hard to get and let aquarius chase me so that's insecurity okay that's an internal battle but i feel like they would release that and they'll eventually let the two of cups flow through okay so this is nice all right so thank you aquarius you have a great day uh don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye bye